Have you ever wondered what it takes to master the art of flirting and leave a lasting impression on women? How can you make those butterflies in your stomach work for you, rather than against you? In this video, we'll unlock the secrets to flirting comfortably and igniting passion in women's hearts. Once you've honed this skill to perfection, you won't have those nagging worries about approaching them anymore. Building confidence in yourself is crucial, and so is sharpening your wit and charm for interactions with everyone. Flirting, you see, speaks volumes through body language. It's not just about the words you choose, it's about how you convey them. This is why those tired old pickup lines won't get you very far. For instance, picture two different guys uttering the classic line, Are you from Tennessee? Because you're the only ten I see. While the words may be identical, the energy they emit sets them worlds apart. It hinges on their posture, tone of voice, eye contact, and above all, their self-assuredness. Now let's start at the beginning, the moment you first encounter someone you're interested in. Do you often find yourself beginning with an apology like, Excuse me, hope I'm not interrupting? Here's a thought. Why apologize? When you approach a woman, imagine that your presence adds value to her life. This belief should emanate confidence, and apologies have no place here. Instead, try something like, Hi, what's your name? It's simple, isn't it? Maintain unwavering eye contact and exude confidence in your posture. While you're at it, allow her space to express her attraction. But there's more to it. Let's talk about another common opener. Can I get you a drink? Why attempt to buy her favor with a drink? Her attractiveness should not be the focus here. Attraction is a primal force that cannot be forced. However, what you can do as a man is influence it. Even if she initially rates you as a 5 out of 10, you can ascend to a perfect 10 with the right moves. Steer clear of awkward habits such as fidgeting or constantly shifting your gaze. These scream nervousness and detract from your appeal. Moreover, standing alone, clutching your drink, signals low value. If you don't genuinely believe that you're a valuable addition to her life, why would she be interested? Now let's delve into a bold move that may work wonders for some but isn't suited for everyone. Oh my god, you're so beautiful, I had to stop to talk to you. This approach might prove effective if you're tall, good-looking, and dressed to the nines. However, for the average guy, it's a risky strategy. You don't need cheesy pickup lines, icebreakers, or extravagant gestures. It's crucial not to appear too invested when you first meet a girl. Remember, you're assessing if she's a good fit for your life, even if your instincts scream, she's the one. Just say hi and ask her name. If she reciprocates with her name and asks for yours, you're on the right track. If she doesn't ask or seems annoyed, a common reaction, avoid this approach. Hi, I'm Ronald, and I noticed you standing here, so I had to talk to you. Try this instead. Something seems off. You don't look like you're having fun. At this point, she'll likely respond with, Why do you say that? Or, Sorry, I have a boyfriend. If she mentions a boyfriend, move on. She's either taken or uninterested. If not, she's opened the door for conversation. Let me see that smile. You should be excited right now. You might wonder why you should be excited, because you've just met me and your night is about to get a lot more enjoyable. This shift in energy sets you apart instantly. Pay attention to how women test men. These tests are opportunities to display your dominant masculine side. I'll share a video on 20 different ways women test you at the end for further insights. If you're bold, you can attract women and secure a first date right away. But if that's too much, go for the phone number. So, do you think I could maybe get your number? Do you have social media? I'd love to follow you on Instagram. I genuinely enjoy getting to know you better because your energy is fantastic. How about we plan dinner this week? I'd love that, you respond with a warm smile. At this point, here's the key. Hand her your phone. Avoid making the common mistake of immediately trying to verify her number or sending a text on the spot. Instead, smoothly open your phone app and offer it to her. Express that it's been a pleasure meeting her, and then gracefully take your leave. This leaves a positive impression and shows you respect her space. Now, let's tackle a topic that often leaves men perplexed, the delicate art of touch and how to navigate the touch barrier in a way that sparks excitement and intrigue in women. I've noticed that most guys express their fear of touching women, worried they might be seen as creepy or even risk accusations of harassment. But here's the thing, my friend. Those concerns only materialize if you're acting inappropriately. 
If you follow the steps I'm about to outline and remain attuned to a woman's responses, you'll steer clear of uncomfortable situations. Before we delve into the realm of touch, remember this crucial step. Between the initial introduction and the request for her number, there should be an authentic conversation. Keep the atmosphere lighthearted and playful. The secret sauce here is to ask questions and let her take the lead in the conversation. You needn't boast about yourself or flaunt your possessions. In fact, it's often more effective to shroud most of that in mystery while encouraging her to invest in the conversation by sharing about herself. So, the next time you're in the midst of an engaging conversation with someone you'd like to know better, remember that you can confidently offer your phone for her number without pushing too hard. And when it comes to the art of touch, trust your instincts and ensure that it's respectful and welcomed. With this balanced approach, you'll find that creating meaningful connections becomes a natural and enjoyable experience. In most conversations with women, breaking the touch barrier early on can be a powerful way to convey your interest and establish a deeper connection. However, it's crucial to approach this with sensitivity and respect, ensuring you don't make her uncomfortable, especially when you've just met. There are essentially two areas of a woman's body that you can touch in the initial stages without raising any red flags. These touches should feel natural and unforced, aiming to enhance the interaction, not overwhelm it. First, consider moments when you find yourselves in close conversation, perhaps when she asks a question or when you're sharing a particularly engaging moment. In such instances, you can gently touch her shoulder or upper back. The key is to ensure that the touch flows seamlessly with the conversation. It should be unobtrusive, like a subtle punctuation mark in your dialogue. These touches can be quite effective, especially when you're in the process of getting to know someone new. Another opportune moment to break the touch barrier is when there's a valid reason to transition from your current location to somewhere else. Perhaps you both decide on a change of scenery, or there's a need to move for practical reasons. In such cases, you can guide her by lightly touching her upper back. This gesture communicates a sense of assurance and consideration, making the transition feel smoother and more natural. Again, it's essential that this touch feels unforced and aligned with the flow of the conversation. Now, here's a playful touch that can work wonders, but it's not without its risks. If you sense that she's being a bit of a tease and her interest is clear, you can opt for a playful move, flicking her hair away from her face with two fingers. This action often elicits a lighthearted and fun reaction, and it can further enhance the connection you're building. However, a word of caution, ensure you execute this move smoothly to avoid accidentally hitting her in the face, which could lead to an awkward situation. Moving beyond these initial interactions, if you've had a rewarding conversation and secured her number, it's perfectly acceptable to conclude with a friendly hug. This gesture signifies a positive connection and can leave a lasting impression. However, it's essential to always prioritize her personal space and comfort. Ensure she is open to physical contact, and if there's any hesitation or discomfort on her part, respect her boundaries without question. I understand that talking to women can be nerve-wracking, and that anxiety can make things even harder. The best way to overcome this fear is by practicing talking to many women until you feel comfortable. You can start by chatting with women you're not particularly interested in when you're out in public. The skills you learn from these interactions will translate to the girls you like. All right, guys, we've come to the end of this video, and if you enjoyed it, do well to click on the like and subscribe buttons. Don't forget to check other videos on our playlist. We've got some amazing contents for you. See you in our next video.